Super Dave here with another Super Dave review. Super Dave here, and today we are going to be looking at a special action figure by Figma, made by Max Factory, and it is Devil Man. He is going to join our villains as he's been conjured from the depths. <laughs> Let's go over to our Snake Mountain to review this villainous amazing action figure it's hard to see him in the glares of the plastic but you see a silhouette of his back there and that tail and you can see a silhouette of his front there and even some poses with those amazing wings that he comes with we're gonna break him open now and check out this Devil Man. <laughs> Deep within the most evil of places in Eternia, even beyond the borders of Snake Mountain, there is a villainous evil that has been hatched and conjured that is beyond the imagination and conception of even these villains of the day. Evil abounds here in even greater measure than what even Skeletor could conceive, but yet has been conjured from the depths to bring forth one of the greatest villains that Eternia has seen to date, Devil Man. Let's first look at our Devil Man's accessories. First thing our Devil Man comes with is fists, balled up fists, as you can see there. And then he's got a sword wielding type pair of hands, and they're at an angle already. Then he's got some relaxed looking hands and just look at the depths the wrinkles and the, the the detail to the joints of these fingers it's just really amazing and then these open palm really spread out hands and then he comes equipped with some clawed as well just kind of grappling looking hands there look at the detail on the back of those hands really cool really amazing and then our Devil Man, of course, comes with this closed mouth, clenched teeth head, the tentacles, and just, just putrid looking stuff coming out of him. And then he also comes with this open mouth head with tentacles coming out of there as well, and just the putrid scum of Hades bubbling out of his skull we'll look at that one in more detail on him in just a few moments then of course our devil man comes with a figma stand and this figma stand comes with an extension so you can get some of those flight poses so that's nice then our Devil Man comes with a set of amazing wings coming around here. As you can see, the claws on the wings and they spread out. They tab into his back. You remove this piece from his left side and then this piece from his right side. And then you're able to tab in those wings and they are fully articulated. That is correct, and I'll show you that in articulation. But you have those awesome translucent wings. 
really awesome. You can see through them like they're some kind of bat wings. You can see almost like the skin through them, but there he is perched or actually attached to that Figma stand hovering with those wings attached to his back. So just really neat. Of course, he comes with a tail that does not come off, but I don't necessarily count that as an accessory, but that rounds out all of his accessories. Now let's look at Devil Man's articulation. Looking at Devil Man's articulation, let's go ahead and look at this head sculpt. And I went ahead and attached that alternate open mouth head sculpt so you can get a great picture of how that looks. But he is able to, uh, of course, turn side to side. Just have to move some of those tentacles out of the way because those tentacles are kind of stationed in a position, but they are soft plastic so you can move them, but he can look side to side. He's going to be able to get excellent head pivoting. He's going to be able to look down all the way, which is great. You can see that. And he's going to be able to look up really good. You can see he look up that far. Now I went ahead and removed these pieces off of his back so I could show you without any hindrances. He's still got some claws coming out of his, his neck muscles there, but you can kind of lift this head piece and the neck piece up and go even further so you can get some excellent flying poses as you can tell there. Just really cool. Really good. So you can go all the way out. I mean, that's better than most of the Supermans we have <laughs> as far as, I mean, that's what they need to do with him. They do this neck trick because this kind of hides it. You can see the ball joint down in there, but you lift that up and then when you're doing some flying poses, you can't see it, but that's really cool. So you can you see that this is on a double pegged ball joint here at the neck. And then there's even another ball joint at the neck down in here, down in his chest here, chest area. So, uh, and you can see that ball joint there. And so that lifts up and can, then you can push it back down in there. Let's go ahead and reattach his head so I can give you a full understanding so you get full range of motion. You're not going to be able to get too far that way because of those neck muscles coming up beside him there, but you still get great pivoting. You're going to be able to go down and up really good because of that neck joint there. It's flexibility. So that's really good. Nothing's hindering there except for that those it's almost like a collar, but it's like bones and neck. I mean, just look at the muscle fibers. You can see the fibers in his musculature and his shoulders and throughout his chest. It's almost like he's just pure, like there's no skin. It's just musc muscles showing, the muscle fibers showing. So that's really cool. I mean, he's this dude's got a two, four, six, eight, ten. If you count up here, ten pack of abs. Just a really ripped devil man he is. Moving on to his arms, he does have kind of a butterfly joint built into that ball joint, double peg ball joint. Then he's also going to be able to shift up and down like you see there. There's no true bicep swivel, but up in that, that ball joint you are going to get a simulated bicep swivel. And then you're going to get single jointed that acts like double jointed uh, elbows there that also swivel. And then you also have that Figma ball joint on the wrist. So you're going to be able to get him in any direction on his hands and wrists that you need there. Moving those arms on out of the way. Look how amazing his diaphragm joint is. I mean, that is so smooth. So he's going to be able to crunch forward that much. He's going to be able to bend back that much. It's really good. And then if you incorporate the bottom at the torso and waist area, you'll be able to bend and bend again. So he's going to be able to crunch forward that much. And then he's going to be able to bend back just about all the way. He'll be able to do the limbo. <laughs> so that's really good. And you don't really see much gappage here. You do see a little bit in the back when you bend forward. You see a, a gap there, but not really that bad overall. Now his tail is articulated on a ball joint similar to the wrists and hands. 
So you're going to be able to go up and down and then side to side and turn it. So you'll be able to position that tail however you need to. And it is not, it does not have any wiring in it, but it is in a, it is a soft plastic. So you'll be able to move it around. Moving on to the legs. He doesn't have a drop down method. This crotch piece is a floating piece, but he is going to be able to go out about that far with the splits. He's going to be able to kick forward about that much, 90 degrees. He won't really be able to kick back. It hits back there. But uh, he does have a thigh swivel that's built up in here. He does have double jointed knee, uh, knees, so he's going to be able to get back a good amount that way. Move that tail out of the way here first. I can show you. And he's going to be able to get, got to got to get that piece over or underneath that crotch piece, but he will be able to get some crouched positions. So that's cool. Perching, kind of like a Batman pose almost. And then with those feet, he's able to do full tiptoes there. He's able to go up about that much. He's going to be able to get excellent rocker joints. And he does have right at the toes. That's the closest to the toes I've ever seen one <laughs> toe pivot there or toe bend there, a little position there. The toes is claws. See those claws, how detailed they are looks looking good so this guy is decked out I mean he's got excellent excellent articulation to be able to do what needs to be done in all points you're gonna be able to get him in some great poses as you can see there just some excellent poses he's looking awesome now part of the articulation are these wings I want to show you that these wings have the ability to articulate up here in this second section. So this second section of the wings is on a ball joint. So you're going to be able to move them all around, bring them in, bring them out, uh, bend them forward a little bit. And even this little part on the back end of the wings is also articulated. So you move in and out back and forward and so you're going to be able to articulate in one two three two articulations but three sections of articulation on both of those wings not only that but you're also going to be able to bend the part that goes inside of his back you're able to bend that up and down just up and down that way as a hinge so you'll be able to get it, uh, uh, you know, bent in the right direction that you want it to from his port that you ported in his back and able to bend it down and bend it up like that. So that's part of the articulation. And we'll look at that more when we do photos as far as what you can do with him. Awesome. Now our devil man standing straight up without the wingspan, but with all of his head dressed there. Of course, that is not removable, the head dressing is on there but it uh, does elevate the size of his head comes at right at seven inches at seven inches line if you can tell and then if you put on the wings he stands at with those wings at their highest peak nine inches tall with the wingspan going upwards Kind of an upward mark about nine inches tall as you can see there so really really versatile figure you can crouch him down and put him in with some of your smaller figures you can stand him up measure him up with those seven inch figures like the new revelation figures i mean this guy's going to be versatile so that is really good and then not that's not even counting what you can do with him on the flight stand with him flying and getting some poses where his uh wings are a little bit more uh, spread out you can spread those wings out and move them a little bit more outward like this pull them pull them down a little bit and out and you can even you can either fan them back that way or come in with them it's just kind of come in with them there and you can see you know when you bend that up then you're going to be able to achieve some pretty good pretty good stances there and then of course you can do that that head trick 
get it right there. You got some awesome flight poses. Really, really cool. So you're going to be able to hover him up above anybody. Your tallest action figure if you need to. Awesome. Now let's do some comparison time with our devil man. <laughs> And here's our Devil Man next to our Revelation Skeletor and our Classics Faker from both two classics. And I must say that, of course, the head on the Devil Man is small, but when you put his wings on and stand him straight up, or as straight up as you can with the heaviness of those wings, that's him standing by himself without help, without the stand. He does measure up pretty well with these, and I'll show you even a little closer, move our Skeletor even a little closer here, and you see that they really do match up really well together. I mean, Figma characters are small. You see the feet are a lot smaller. The frame is a lot smaller. But when you back up and pose him with other characters in this line, you see that he is comparable and matches up pretty well, especially with the towering, uh, you know, wing span that he can... Uh, achieve those are that's that's kind of that's kind of the wings tucked in a little bit if you will kind of tucked in behind him but uh, it look looks good now next to the classics faker there um, obviously that head is going to be quite a bit bigger than this devil man but overall this is working it looks good looks good and here's our devil man next to our four horsemen's that crow man crow figure with his black wings spread out there and you can see how he measures up against our devil man I mean when you put on those wings there's just no comparison our devil man's wings definitely has the span they're spanned out pretty wide there uh, got them got them spread out and you can see how they're translucent it's catching the red from the lava falls back there through the wings but he's looking really cool next to this Four Horsemen Crow Man. Awesome. And sticking with our Four Horsemen motif here, here's our Devil Man next to Purplore, also from Four Horsemen and Mythic Legion, alongside of our Devil Man's Figma, Max Factory Devil Man. And see, I mean, they measure in great together. They're gonna work good together. Um, some of you may have gotten this evil looking figure right here from Mythic Legions. I passed on him because I like this Devil Man better uh, overall. Mainly because, as, as I was describing earlier, these muscle fibers. I mean, he's just got some really cool detail. Um, I'm not that crazy about the glossiness of his face. I may do like one reviewer mentioned and suggested putting a little matte finish, a clear coat finish over the face so it's not so glossy. I understand it's like a slime, a putridness on those those wings and you know even down into this uh, almost like spikiness on his legs and stuff. But when it comes to the muscle fibers and then the face, I think they need to be lost, less glossy. I may leave the gloss on those red eyes, though. That that would definitely be a good touch, The and even the tentacles. But uh, just maybe put a clear coat. But that looks good beside Purplore. And here is our devil man hovering over the ground just a little bit in like a screaming, yelling face match against our Mortal Kombat's Storm Collectibles Motaro. And boy, do they look intimidating as they're kind of yelling at each other. It's like a yelling match going back and forth between the two of them. With, his, with our Devil Man's uh, our, his wingspan stretched out there, there's claws coming in. They're just they got that yelling face there on our devil man as you can see up close there he can he can yell out evilness with the best of them with that face sculpt that's cool looking good looking good like it like it like it that's cool <laughs> looking very cool there and here's our devil man next to Fangor Motu Classics Fangor 
uh, one of the snake men, along with one of Storm Collectibles' bloody skeletons. That's, that's the one that actually came with uh, Motaro, but I have him in kind of a zombie walk looking pose next to Devil Man. You can see he's still hovering just a little bit there. They're just, just an amazing looking act action figure. And uh, that's drying pretty good, so you can already tell a little bit of a difference on that shine on that face. It's not quite as shiny, and I think that helps in photos anyway, especially videos and photos. But there's that uh, duo there, or, or combo there, beside Fangor. And here's our devil man next to the sun sorceress Nephthu, along with Lord Mask two villains from Masters Universe Classics and he's looking great beside them. I'm telling you, he measures up good next to these figures in my opinion. I like it. Looking great. And here's even Mortal Kombat's Storm Collectible Shao Kahn bowing to the Lord of Darkness himself, the Devil Man. <laughs> and that is cool looking there. Um, now, Shao Kahn is pretty much taller, much taller, just like Prince Goro and even Mortaro. But uh, you can make these work. You sure can. And also treated that face as well. As you can tell a little bit there, I believe, compared to the other pictures I took, that uh, he has that matte finish on the face. It, it did help. You can tell it there. It's not quite as shiny, even though I do have a lot of lights glaring down on him still works good there cool and here's our devil man next to our mortal combats by storm collectibles rain and he's looking cool next to him <laughs> awesome and here's our devil man hovering beside our Masters of the Universe Revelation Evil Lynn and our Masters of the Universe Classic Shakoti woman figure and looking looking evil and really good there. I just think this figure goes great with a lot of different action figures. I'm sure you would pair well with your um, you know Figma figures but the figure, the Figma figures I have, he doesn't really pair well with. I have mostly um, modern day type looking figures that go with, oh, ex with the exception of Zelda and Link, but he goes better with the good guys of Masters Universe. But this guy definitely fits in with my villains for sure, especially Moti Classics and Revelations. I like him. I think he's going to be good. I mean, we have Beast Man, we have Clawful, you have, you know, um, Cyclops, you have Stinkor, you have. Um, you know the snake man now you have devil man and i think he'll go good with this motif and here's our devil man next to two of our sh figure action figures we have on the left final battle jiren all buffed out flexing most muscular pose with his amazing abs so we're going to have like an abs contest here. Then you have the Devil Man's 10-pack next to uh, Jiren's 6-pack. And then you have the uh, Dragon Ball Z's hit figure I just got. I like him with uh, as a villain with my Motu Classics as well. I think he's cool. I actually kind of had a storyline of in my mind of him conjuring up this Devil Man with his crystal ball here with his 8-pack abs going on. He's ripped. And he is so cool with his hand in his pocket. And he's just casually letting that crystal ball levitate over his hand there. And he has conjured up this uh, devil man for Skeletor to use with his magic. So that's cool. Um, I use these figures in my Motu Classic stories with, in Motu Universe, Masterverse, whatever. So uh, that's cool. With Hitman here, the hit. And with my King Altron is what I call Jiren and Motu Classics. Now let's check out some photos in the photo gallery.
and a Skeletor beckons ally named Hit. The Hitman, with his magical crystal ball, conjures up an evil unthought of before this time. Devil Man. Here he comes. Here he is.